channel is beauty passion and y'all i'm excited about today's haul y'all i purchased 13 pairs of uggs for under 500 dollars quit playing with me under 500 dollars i purchased 13 pairs of uggs all right so before we get started make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel Make sure you hit those post notifications so you can be notified when I um, upload a video. All right, let's get started with this Ugg haul. I'm also going to try on the Uggs too so you all can see which ones I like, didn't like. But I'm going to try on the Uggs also. All right, so let's get started. 13 pairs of Ugg, y'all, for $500. Now, if anybody know, that sounds ridiculous. That sounds ridiculous, 13 pairs of Uggs. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. Black Friday, it was, matter of fact, it was Thanksgiving, the night before Black Friday. And I was laying in my bed. I was bored. I wasn't quite sleepy. And I decided to go online and see who had a sale. I found the UGG website and realized that they were having a great sale. So as I was going through the uh, site, they had like a closet of UGGs that were marked down. So... I started to shopping. Show sure did. I started to shopping. Let me get me some Uggs. Uggs were marked down the lowest that I've ever seen them marked down, y'all. Like the hundred and fifty dollar Uggs were more like one twenty five. The Uggs that I guess wasn't selling so good, those were like less than fifty dollars for Uggs. Uggs, if you all know, they don't never go on sale. I'm talking about never go on sale if they go on sale you better grab you some they might give you a discount code but sometimes they give you a discount code it don't even include the uggs so anyway i'm shopping 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 and when i got to check out now let me remind you i didn't buy all these at one time i bought four of them at one time then i bought some of them from the actual ugg store and i bought some from um, Trazy, which is like gently used, um, uh, clothing. And I bought some from, uh, Dillard's because the, one of the, um, Uggs that I wanted, they were, they were out of stock on, uh, online. So I just went to Dillard's and purchased them. But I purchased a total of 13 Uggs in one week. Now, y'all know y'all asking me, how did I purchase 13 Uggs in one week? Let me tell y'all my secret. So, I have been, um, sh I like to shop. It just is what it is. So I just discovered this app called Afterpay. Now, af it's, it's like three or four different apps like Afterpay. But for me, the UGG store online uses Afterpay. So uh, I've been building my credit on Afterpay. Now, let me give you a disclaimer. Afterpay is not about your personal credit. Afterpay is about your bank account. So if you have a personal checking account, you have a credit score with your personal checking account. So when you first open up your checking account, your credit score is an A, an A. As the months go on, depending on how you um, deal with your bank account, meaning like your deposits going in, deposits going out, how much money is flowing in, how much money is flowing out, any overdraft fees, anything like that, that you pay back the overdraft fee, your credit, your um, bank account score will go down or up. So your everybody's bank account starts at an A. If you are reckless with your bank account, your bank account score goes down. So after pay basis, how much they're going to approve you based on your bank account's credit score. Now, I've been using Afterpay for a while now. I started using it earlier this year when we first started to get in a pandemic because let's be honest, everybody was at home and everybody was shopping online because everything was closed. So that's when I was first introduced to Afterpay. So I've been building my Afterpay credit up since about May or June, something like that. So now I'm at the point where Afterpay has approved me for about $1,500. So at that time, I didn't know because I had stopped using I had paid off whatever I owed to people and I had stopped using Afterpay because I was just, I don't know, I just didn't feel a need to it for it anymore. But 
Honey, for Black Friday shopping, I bust out my Apple Pay card. Now, the good thing about Apple Pay is you can also use your credit in stores. So you know how Apple Pay has it where you can just hit your, um, swipe your card on your phone at the store? Apple Pay has the same thing. So let me go back for a second. Once you fill out your application with Apple Pay, they're going to let you know how much you got, not how much you got approved for, but basically are you approved for the amount that you're trying to finance, which is kind of like layaway. Finance and lay, it's like layaway that you're trying to let, lay, because lay, they're, they're going to put it in four convenient payments. So the first payment is going to be your down payment. So they might say, if you're trying to buy something for a hundred dollars, they're going to tell you, you have to put down $25 and then you have three more payments of $25 that are, will be taken out your bank account every two weeks. So that's how Afterpay works. Now, they just upgraded their website or their app where you can also go into stores. So if you go into, like for instance, I think I've seen Finish Line. You go into Finish Line, you want to buy those new Jordans, put them on Afterpay. Put them on Afterpay. If you don't have like enough money or you just want to build some kind of credit with Afterpay, put them on Afterpay. So say for instance, I don't know how much Jordans cost because I only got a couple pairs of those, but say that Jordans are $250. They might tell you to put 50 down at the store. So once you get the drawings and they scan it up, scan it, you let them know that you're paying with Afterpay. You're going to have to scan your app on the screen or whatever the, the, the little card kiosk. Once you scan your card on the card kiosk because you have a barcode, you're going to be able to pay with your Afterpay. So it's going to let you know right there on the screen that you owe $50. So you swipe your real debit card for the $50 down payment. And then the $200 that you have left will be taken out your bank account every two weeks. So 50, they usually put it up like $50 every two weeks or a hundred every two weeks, however you want to set it up. Afterpay has been a great tool for me because, so that is my tutorial on Afterpay. Make sure you click my link in the description box below. I am not sponsored by Afterpay. Let me tell y'all that I'm not sponsored by Afterpay. I'm just giving you a tool that you can use during the Christmas season when you're running low on cash and you um, you can set it up where you're putting people's stuff on layaway. Alright, so click my link in the description box below to sign up with Afterpay. They're going to give you a $10 credit to start off. So make sure you sign up with my link so you can get your free $10 credit. Alright y'all, let's stop this UGG haul. I'm too excited. Now, let me get y'all a backstory. I love UGGs. I love UGGs. So, when I seen Ugg was having a sale, honey, I went crazy. I bought all the Uggs that I ever dreamed of and maybe not even dream of. I bought all the Uggs. So, some of these Uggs I haven't tried on yet, but I'm going to try them on. By the time you see this video, I'm going to put inserts in of me trying on the Uggs and see how they look on my feet. Alright, so some of these Uggs I haven't tried on yet, so I'm just going to pull them out the box so you can see what Uggs that I purchased. Alright, so I'm not even going to hold y'all. Let's start with this Ugg haul. Alright. So these Uggs are not in no particular order. Um, I'm going to start with the Uggs that I actually bought from the Ugg store online. Okay, so the first Ugg that I bought was um, something that I'm not usually used to buying. I bought the Ugg gym shoe. Now let me tell y'all something. So listen, I ain't never purchased a pair of Ugg gym shoes hey, let me try a pair so these are the ugg shoes that I, I i um i'm gonna try to put these on the side so these are the ugg shoes that i purchased now these were on the website marked down for 39.99 yes 39.99 so i was like hmm let me see let me try them and see how it's gonna work neutra sneaker and i got them in a size eight I usually wear a size 8 in Ugg. I'm not sure about sneakers i've never bought sneakers so i'm not sure about sneakers but i, I bought them in a size eight um, and the opening is like a sock. All right, so here's the opening. The opening is like a sock. So if you can see right there, it's like a sock. So you got to slide your feet in this. There's no ties or anything like this. This doesn't come unstrapped or anything like that. So you pretty much slide your feet in and it's done. This is the bottom of them. And then they have the little thing here so you can pull them up. And then they have the UGG symbol right there. And the UGG symbol is right here. And I don't know. Again, I'm going to try it on. Um, 
and I just hope it's a comfortable shoe. All right, so this is the next pair of Uggs I got. Now, I like boots. I like comfortable boots. I have about two pairs of like combat Ugg boots, and this is uh, my second pair. Uh, it has the Ugg symbol right here. Let me see what is the name of this Ugg shoe. Okay, so this shoe name is the Casey, K-E-S-E-Y. And it's just a comfortable shoe. I got it in a size 8. I got most of my shoes in a size 8. If they didn't have a size 8, I either went up or down because I'm thirsty. So I just bought the shoe. These are made of leather. And they come up a little bit past your ankle. And then this is kind of like a tweed material right there. They have a zip on the side. And then they have a strap. Or a buckle strap. Like a buckle. Right here that you unbuckle. You can either unbuckle or not unbuckle. But there's the, the zipper. Inside is fur line. And then the bottom of the boot looks like this. Yes sir. The quarter lining and the vamp lining. Alright and this is how this boot looks. And I bought this from the UGG store. Okay so this is the next boot I bought. And it's pretty much, um, let me see what's the name of this boot. It's called the Maluk Revival. And I got this in a size 7. And then it has the fur that's usually on the inside of the boot. It has it on the outside. Um, no zipper, so you have to un unstring this and, and put your feet in. The inside of the shoe is also lined. So the inside of the shoe is also lined with the same fur that's on the outside. The back of the shoe looks like this. And then the bottom of the shoe looks like this. I thought this was a great addition to my UGG collection because I don't have any boots like this. Um, and it's all suede. The whole shoe is suede. And again, I don't know the price of this one either. I'll put it up on the screen, the price of every shoe. Also bought that shoe from the UGG store online. Okay, so the next shoe I got was this shoe right here. And it's pretty much a chestnut cover. It's all color. It's all suede. It has a zipper right here. And the bottom of the shoe looks like this. And then on the inside of the shoe, it's fur lined on the inside of the shoe going all the way down. And it's just the fur line shoe. Let me look at the name of this one. And I bought this shoe from the UGG store online. Okay, y'all. So this next shoe, um, this next boot that I bought, they were sold out everywhere. Well, now I'm not going to say everywhere, but they were sold out online uh, with this shoe. So I bought it from Dillard's um, online. Um, and it's this shoe right here, Sundance. So the Sundance, they have a shoe called the Sunburst and a, a boot called the Sundance. The Sunburst is just a little bit lighter than this. I have I purchased that from Tracy. I'm going to put a picture on that when I get to that. I'll picture, put a picture up there. But this is the Sundance. And it's lined with fur going all the way around. And the back. And then it has the UGG name right there. And then this is how the bottom of the shoe looks. And then around, going all the way around it, it has like a stitching. And this shoe goes mid-calf. So this goes up your calf. So this is a very long boot. I've seen people on the internet wear with like jogging suits and of course leggings and stuff like that. So I always wanted this shoe. I don't know, just 280 online at Dillard's. Okay, this next shoe I got because I was getting too many chestnut colors. So I decided to get an actual different color. So I got a gray. I don't have any gray Uggs in my collection. So I decided to pick up a gray Uggs. Now this is the same shoe as the chestnut um, boot that I just showed you earlier. It's called the Kelvin. It's just in a gray. I'm excited about a gray Ugg uh, because I don't have any gray Uggs. I got this from the Ugg store online. Okay, so with the UGG store online, if you sign up for their rewards program, you're able to, they're going to give you back $20 based on each hundred, I think a hundred dollars you spend, you're going to get $20 back in the rewards, uh, in the rewards. So once you purchase your purchase online, 
in 24 hours 48 hours they're going to email you a 20 dollars reward for you to come back and use either at the ugg store online or the actual ugg store so since i live in chicago we got an ugg store right downtown so when i looked at my email i said i had 60 dollars in ugg rewards so i had purchased two of them um shoes from the ugg store online the next day and I went downtown to get them maybe like a couple of days later, they were ready. Maybe like four or five days later, they were ready for me to pick, down, to pick up downtown. And once I picked up these two pairs of shoes downtown, I end up actually... And then it has like a little Velcro strap, but they pretty much slip their feet in this and then it's, gone, it's done. Again, these aren't great to walk in for if you're a kid. These are pretty much for a show. Like if they have a nice outfit on and you want to get put them on Uggs. That's what these are for. Um, I don't know the price of these. I'll put it up. I think these are regular price though. Um, those are called the eye rules. All right. So those were for my grandson. Then I picked up these for my niece when I went downtown. And these come with a blanket. Let me see how you open this. These are so cute. They come with like a, they're furry. They're pink. They have like the little soft bottom. And they have like a little Velcro strap on them. And they furry, they cute. Um, so I bought those for her. And it come with a little blanket, a little throw blanket. A little soft throw blanket. It has Ugg right here on it. And I thought that was very cute for my um, niece. Who and then I bought my grandson another pair of Ugg. Now these are like the men Uggs, but for babies or, or toddlers. Well, he's not a toddler, but for babies. Um, I bought them in red. He has a chestnut pair already, so I bought him one in red. And these have a harder bottom than those other ones. So they can pretty much walk in these, because like I said, it has a hard bottom to it. Um, they they zip like Velcro right here. You can un-Velcro them right there and put them back together. And that's how that look. It has the Ugg right here on it. And these are how the, the red, the little um, baby Uggs look. I thought those were cute. Okay, so this is the next shoe I bought. Now, this is what I didn't think that I was going to buy. I only went to the Ugg um, store online to pick up those three shoes. And then, again, I purchased these. Well, I had actually four. I had four pairs of shoes that I was, four pairs of shoes that I was picking up from the Ugg store downtown Chicago. And when I got in there, the sales lady had on these. Well, she didn't have on. She had on this shoe, but she had it in a natural color. They were sold out at the downtown Ugg store, and I was so heartbroken. So, I ended up buying a red Ugg because I don't have a color Ugg. I only have, like, chestnut. I only have chestnut Uggs. And then I, I thought these were very cute. So, these are waterproof. So, they kind of like rain boots. So, the outside of them are, is a plastic. And then it has like Ugg going up. And then on the bottom of it looks like that. And then the back of it looks like that. The inside looks like that. Red on the inside. So if you wear white socks, you're probably gonna, they're probably gonna make them red because the lining on the inside is red. And then it's just the bottom of it is just all the regular color um lining. And I purchased these. I'm very excited about these. I, I, I actually tried these on um, when I was downtown at the store. I actually tried these on. They looked very cute on my feet. Now, let me tell y'all a secret. A Ugg secret. If you buy. Now, I did not know this. And I've been buying Uggs for a while. I did not know this. The salesperson um, there, she informed me that um they had them in a different size so she was like we got them in kids and i was like honey i can't fit no kids size." she said yeah you can fit a kid size if you were a size eight and us you could fit a kid size five or six so i'm like for real i said bring them on sure enough i put my feet in a size six kids and i was able to fit them but i need i had a little bit too much space so i asked her to give me a size five in kids 
and that's what I got. So this is a size five in kids and these fit me perfectly. Again, I don't wear socks with my Uggs. So if you wear socks with your Uggs, get a size six if you wear a size eight in Uggs. If you don't wear socks, like I don't wear socks, my foot fits perfectly in this size five. Okay, and then the last pair of Uggs that I bought, again, I'm waiting on two more pairs of Uggs. I'm waiting on the real ones. I mean, I'm waiting on the mini clear ones, but in the natural color. And then I'm waiting on the sunburst because I got the Sundance boots. I'm waiting on the sunburst boots. I'm going to put a picture of them right here. And I'm going to put a picture of the natural Uggs that I haven't received yet. They said they won't be here until about Friday, which is tomorrow. Just went through 11 pairs of Uggs. So this is the last pair of Uggs that I got from the Chicago downtown store. Now, I decided to get a pair of men's uggs because i felt like at first i hated this shoe my daughter wanted this ugg shoe a long time ago and i purchased it for her they were like 180 um one christmas she wanted them they were like 180 like three years ago two years ago and i thought it was the ugliest shoe on earth but they came out and they redesigned it so they have like the little ugg going around here and then they have like a little strap now when I put my feet in this, I really couldn't put my feet in this. I didn't know this adjust. So she adjusted it for me so I could stick my feet in it. So no, like, you just stick your feet in it. So it's lined with the gray right here. And then on the inside is the, um, like, the sheep fur. Um, the bottom of them look like this. And then this is how the back looks. And then this is how, the, that's where the UGG is, which is right here. Six in men. So I wear size six in men. Or oh, what's these kids? Hold on. Size six in men. So if you're size eight in UGGs, you're a six in men. And if you get them in the kids, let me go back and tell y'all the whole secret. If you get them in a kid size, you're going to save yourself about $30. Because in a kid size, they're about $120 in eight. For a women's, they're like 150. Most of the shoes, they're like they are like 30 dollars more. And women's sizes, if you can fit a kid size and you can get them in a kid sizes, you'll save yourself about 30 dollars if you get them in a kid size. Which who don't want to save money? Say say them coins, honey. Say them coins. So get you want to get you a kid size and save you 30 dollars and go and buy you something else with that 30 dollars. All right. So these are the final pair of Uggs that I purchased from the Ugg store online i picked up these plus the kids shoes the only per thing that i bought when i went down there actually was the um oh i bought the pink okay hold on so i bought the pink ones when i went down there i purchased the red ones so i purchased two more pairs of shoes these were the ones that i was picking up because i had purchased them online all right so i purchased 13 pairs of ugg y'all now this is how it all panned out let me start here after pay after i went shopping online dealers on dealers also takes after pay so my dealers online purchase plus my uggs online purchase those came up to about 345 dollars is what i had to give after pay for um 10 yeah for 10 uggs so 10 pairs of uggs was 345 dollars when I went downtown to the Ugg store, I had my $60 in rewards. So for this shoe, plus the, um, this shoe. So for these two shoes, so I bought these and I bought these. So for these two pairs of shoes, my total was $198. I was able to use all three of my $20 rewards gift cards or coupons however you say it they send them to your email and once you get in the store um they just enter the coupon code on the register and it takes off as many coupons as you got so if you let them all stack up you per you probably can get some free uggs if you if i almost got free uggs I, my, my like i said my total was 198 and my reward took off 60 dollars 60 dollars then once I got home the next couple of days, they sent me back another $20 reward um, coupon. 
So 198 minus 60. So for both of these pairs of Uggs, I paid $128. And then I received a $20 reward in my email in about two days. So my final um, price for these two pairs of Uggs was $108. And I paid that out of pocket. So that's the end of my Ugg haul. I hope y'all enjoy it. I, I can't wait to try on these Uggs. Y'all seen them. I'm going to come back and do an update on uh, some of the Uggs that I, when I try them on, I'm going to come up and come back and do an update video on the Uggs that I like, I didn't like. I just didn't want this video to be really, really long. So I just want to show y'all what I got from shopping at the Ugg store online, downtown, Dillard's. And I bought some from Tracy and I bought one from um, Dillard's again. So I bought two pairs of shoes from Dillard's. So, all right. Make sure I'm trying to help y'all out, sisters. I'm trying to help y'all out, brothers. Get on Afterpay right now. Click my link in the description box below. I'm trying to help y'all out for Christmas. It's been a hard year for everybody. Don't let that upset you. Get you some Christmas gifts with Afterpay. Worry about the bill later. Worry about the bill later. Go sign up with Afterpay right now. Again, you have to go to the website. If you go on an uh, online website, it has the option if you want to use Afterpay. If you've never signed up for Afterpay, they're going to prompt you to create an account. Once you create an account, they're going to let you know exactly what you're able to pay. They're going to tell you what your down payment is, and they're going to tell you how much you got to pay for the next three payments. So make sure you go to Afterpay right now. You still got time. You still got time today. We only in the first week of December. So you still got time. You got time. Go go get on the website right now and get you some Uggs, honey. Get you some Uggs because I'm not sharing none of my Uggs. None of them. All right. Thank you all for watching. It's Beauty Passion. Hecky now, Joe. And I'm out.